Hi everyone, welcome to another Filmstorm Studios tutorial. And this tutorial we're going to be covering how to set up a custom character for our third person touch system. And as you can see we've got our two models here, we've got our current one that's in the pack and we've got a custom model that I'm going to show you how to set up. So um, the most important thing with your custom models is if we jump into the actual model itself, you want to make sure it's a humanoid. So you just come up to here and click humanoid and it will generate it. And then you want to make sure if you jump down, you will notice inside your model, you'll see this little avatar. And if you come and click configure, let's just say save, you'll notice that she's in a perfect T pose and you'll want to make sure that um, you can get your character as close to a T-pose as possible because then the animations will play correctly and they won't look um, kind of lopsided. And this is just a simple fix. So just say if your leg was out here, um, the animation will play really funny. So you just want to make sure that um, the, the character is in the correct T-pose. So that's, that's one thing to keep aware of. So if you just click done, and, um, I'm just going to hit revert because I've already set it up. And now let's get started in setting up the character. So we would want to make sure that you come up to position and hit 000, and you'll see that she's perfectly positioned in replacement of this guy. The second thing, we want to come up to tag and go player, as this is how we're going to set up um, all the systems. And this is pretty much the automatic way of making sure everything is connected. And now we're going to open up our player system and just drag our custom player into the player system. Then go to the old player model. You'll notice this is the robot. And we're just going to copy the character controller and paste this onto our new model. And same thing for the movement, FSM. I'm going to copy that. And we're going to go into custom player and we're going to paste this. And now we can turn off the old model and she's just still standing there. And one thing we're going to want to do is reposition our character controller. So let's just make it a little bit higher. So let's drag this, make sure it's not touching through the ground, otherwise she'll fall through. But that looks pretty good. It's a good size. Um, now we need to set up the animator controller. So just click this little circle, go assets, and then click movement. Movement's the one that I've set up. And then just go animate and always animate. This will make sure that she updates properly and all the animations work nice and smoothly. Now you'll see set your custom player object inside here. So we're just going to go edit, set player object, and we're just going to drag our custom player into here. All right, so now that we have that um, custom object set up, we just want to go and move all the FSMs under our new player. So let's just go and get the camera follow to the move look compass. And we're just going to drag this to the custom player and hit continue. And that is wonderful. Now we can make sure that this is shut down. All of these should work correctly. We're going to make sure our custom player is always on player. Otherwise it's not going to work. So this is one of the most important things with setting up the new character. Um, and if you don't have player, you just make a new tag and call it player. And now if we go and press play, you'll notice that our new character is in here and she's all moving around and it's like correctly working as the other one was. So this is how to set up your um, custom player. It's nice and simple and very quick. And you can always implement new characters into the system by using this as well. Um, of course, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, but this has been Kieran from Filmstorm Studios and I'll catch you next time.